Hey everyone, this is Grobby from Seoul, South Korea. Uh, this is actually my last day in Korea for now for this trip. I'm gonna go to Shanghai tomorrow for the BWC, the Blizzard World Championship, also known as the WCS Global Finals. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but first I wanted to go eat something nice. Since it's my last day, I wanted to uh, bring you guys along. So come along with me as we go to a Korean barbecue place. It's open 24-7. Uh, you can go there in the morning, most people go in the evening, but even in the afternoon or the morning some people have a real craving for uh, barbecue and it really depends on your lifestyle. Uh, right now it's about 2 p.m. so let's go ahead and go to the barbecue place. There's a slight drizzle it seems, but uh, it's mostly dry so no problem, don't need uh, umbrellas this time like in the last uh, blog. It's a short walk, five minutes, so I'd like to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about the BWC and my group. Well, my group in BWC is... Uh, uh, it's uh, Huck, Dignitas Killer, and also uh, Sen. So Germania Sen, E.G. Huck, Dignitas Killer and Germania Sen. Uh, the group stage is going to be a best of three matches in the GSL style group stage. So basically what that means, from the four players, two pairs will meet up. And if you beat your opponent, you play the winner of the other pair. And if you win that one, you're first in the group. Uh, whoever loses that one will play the winner of the losers and the winner of that will also pass. So basically it's in my opinion a little bit of an improved style upon round robin because uh, you don't play everyone and therefore there's also never a chance to get uh, meaningless matches in the group stage. Uh, so because sometimes in a round robin four player group uh, the person who already lost the first two series doesn't have a lot of will to play very good in the last game. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, I'm going to face Huck in the first round. So it's going to be a PvP and then no matter what, win or lose, I would be facing a Zerg opponent. I'm going to walk on this side. I would be facing a Zerg opponent. So that's the matchups I'm practicing the most for. There's only two other Terrans in the BWC, so the chance of meeting one is not very high for me. Uh, still, I'm playing mostly on the Korean ladder and I do face a fair amount of Terrans though, so there's definitely that uh, involved in there. My mindset going into the BWC, first of all I'm actually already very happy to be a part of the BWC. The fact that I managed to qualify through the Netherlands and the European qualifier. So I'm glad with that and I'm gonna just try to have fun, enjoy myself and yeah, obviously do my best. I'm going to take it one step at a time, just uh, try to do well in my group stage before, uh, uh, first of all. Evaluating the strength of the respective groups, I think, um, I think the, my group is pretty hard. Uh, even though I don't have any Koreans in my group, I do have uh, two strong Zergs, Sen mostly the strong one. And I think Huck gained a pretty decent shape uh, recently, and when I say that I mean he got quite good, like he does well in the Korean qualifiers, for example. Uh, I saw he played the IEM qualifier in the Korea region, so... He is definitely, I think, a little bit better than some people might give him credit for at the moment. And I think it will be quite a tough match against him in the first round. So that's about as much as I will mention on BWC this time. We have arrived at the restaurant, so go ahead and follow me in. As, uh, we're gonna go look for some seats here. Quite smoky, good smell, and smell of meat. All right. So the first thing you notice when you enter a Korean barbecue place, how to identify uh, one, especially if you're a foreigner who might not be able to speak a lot of uh, Korean, you see these holes in the table. When you take this away, there's gonna be a hole and there's gonna be space for uh, some hot coals, which will heat up the, the barbecue meat uh, later on. Of course, the very distinct uh, smoky look of the place. I'm just gonna wait till they bring me a menu and then I'm gonna make my choice. So we have the menu and if we just take a look at it. This is the menu, it's nice they have English. They don't always have English and in such cases I would be forced to uh, 
either look at pictures or take some choice terms, some choice Korean words, which uh, I would either look up on the internet or which I still happen to remember, uh, and then try to order in a restaurant. However, this has an English menu, pretty cool. Uh, and this is my favorite one. The most popular menu for a restaurant, Sima Eul. It is ordered thin pork seasoned with Korean style hot paste made for glutinous rice flour at once. And it's uh, the bulgogi on briquet fire. And that sounds just wonderful. So I'll try to call uh, attention. Anayonaseo. Igo Tuge Chiseo. Pat Tuge Chiseo. Comes Hamnida. There, uh, she opened up the place. They're gonna put the hot coals here. The juices will drip on the side. And uh, well, for now, we'll just wait till they bring out the food. Uh, the side dishes, like I mentioned in the last uh, video vlog as well. And uh, they bring the meat and then we'll, uh, we'll start the cooking. So, uh, as you see, they brought out some side dishes. Some restaurants have more side dishes, but I mostly come here for the, the really good meat. Just to take you guys through everything, here, here you see the coals, they're very hot. If I put my hand on it, it will turn black. Uh, here is a soup, a seaweed soup. Pretty cool, humanity went into the sea and is uh, even taking its plants from there. It's, it's just such a cool idea to me that we're eating seaweed. Uh, even though you know it's not the first time I do it. Uh, this is a pepper. So some of these peppers, it's, it's like a Russian roulette. Some of them are extremely spicy, and some they're more like a, a paprika, uh, you know, the sweet pepper. So I'll see which one this is. For the rest, we get two kinds of salad leaves, onion, which we can also put on the fire, and this is some kind of shredded. Um, onions as well and there we are with the meat looks really good apparently we're eating everything at once uh, this is a kind of uh, red bean paste and you will tend to mix it alongside with the rest. I got some garlic as well. I will put them right on top. We'll add a really nice flavor. We make them warm a bit. And in the end, uh, we'll end up using that for our food as well. And finally, we get some uh, chili sauce. It isn't very spicy, but it's just some extra flavor as well. So as soon as the meat will be more cooked, I'd like to show you guys uh, how I learned to eat it at least even though there are of course different ways so uh, see you guys in a few minutes and as the meat is about ready uh, ready and cooked uh, I'd like to show you guys how I was taught to eat it we take some salad and We add some rice, we add some vegetables, and this is of course also one kind of uh, kimchi. It has the chili, it has the pickle, it, has the, it is a vegetable. I put some sauce on there, and then I take a piece of meat, I put it on there, and that just looks and smells wonderful. And it was uh, fittingly described to me as a one bite. And we will see, you will see soon why. That's really good. Hey guys, uh, the meat is all just about cooked and ready, so I'm going to enjoy my dinner. If you also feel like eating some Korean barbecue, there's a pretty good chance that somewhere in your country, wherever you live, or somewhere in your city, there will also be a, a Korean town or a Korean restaurant. So uh, do some uh, research in your own area if you'd like to try. There may be a chance you don't even have to come to Korea to try it. 
and there would be a pretty good chance that it might be reasonably authentic. At least that was my experience with the various Korean restaurants I've tried around the world. So, to you guys and to myself, bon appetit. Thanks so much for watching this video blog. And I'd love to see you again next time for my next video blog. Bye bye. Thanks for the positive response on my last video blog. This one is just for you.